Why is it so easy to spread false information in Nigeria? Very irresponsible black man called out Tuntu DK and said that Tuntu DK bought a car and couldn't pay for it without hearing Tuntu DK's side of the story. He was obviously acting on what his so-called friend sent to him and he did not contact Tuntu DK to hear her own side of the story and he came on social media to feed you guys bull shit. I contacted Tonto DK immediately. The video surfaced online and Tonto DK told me everything that happened. Of course, some of you already know. Tonto DK is a humanitarian. She's a giver. She's an amazing person. She helps a lot of Nigerians on her page. Go on her page. You will see where she's helping humanity. So apparently, I contacted her on Instagram and said, Ah, Tonto, see what this boy is saying about you. What actually happened? Please tell me. And Tonto DK gave me her own side of the story. Tonto DK says, Bottom line, I paid 84 million naira for an 86 million naira car. I forgot about the 2 million naira because I was not reminded. I took same car back to them for servicing and they seized it. I asked them if they sent me a message. No one answered. I gave them one hour to provide my car and they failed to do so. I didn't see my car and I destroyed what I could lay my hands on until they brought my car and I gave them their money. I haven't bought the car this year, not last year. So that little boy is saying nonsense. How you go beat small Pekin? Tell small Pekin how the Pekin go cry. It's not possible. You don't do that. They triggered Tonto Dike to act the way she acted. Why would you see someone's car because of 2 million naira? In this economy, person pay you 84 million naira out of 86 million naira. And you had the audacity to seize their car. Because say they bring the car and make you service them. That's not professional. If Tonto Dike remembered she had an outstanding 2 million naira, she wouldn't have taken that car back to them for servicing. <laughs> and it's so unprofessional as a car dealer for you to seize a car because of an outstanding 2 million naira. Your client being turned to decay already paid you 84 million naira out of 86 million naira in this hard economy. And you had the audacity, you had the temerity to seize her car. What if Tun Tudike wanted to attend an official meeting in that car and you just seize them? And you do not expect her to react? What triggered her to react in that manner? You guys will mess with someone's mental health and expect her not to react? That is absolutely unacceptable. You know, go beat small Pekin. Tell the Pekin how you go cry. Or more, if not me, when you seize my car, we'll be saying that two million naira remain, make the payment finish. I give you car, make you service. You seize them. I go claim damages. I go say one billion dollars inside that car. You go pay him. You have no right to seize her car. Someone that paid 84 million naira out of 86 million naira. The person don't finish payments now. What it be 2 million? The person will give you 84 million naira. Can give you 2 million if you give her some time. You rush, seize the car. Are you expected or not to react? I'm an OG. That's why I'm saying this to you. And I can't keep repeating myself.